The newly crowned king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Dimitri, has declared fealty to the Church of Saros and is raising an army in preparation for all-out war with the Empire. As leader of the Alliance, Claude maintains a facade of neutrality amidst infighting between those who support and those who oppose the Empire. Meanwhile, the Black Eagle Strike Force plans to capture Alliance territory before Edelgard takes the war to the Kingdom and the Church of Saros. With sights set on capturing Deirdre at the center of House Regan's territory, she leads a march across the Great Bridge of Murden to establish a bridgehead. We're about to commence our attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. But first, allow me a moment of your time. It is something that I can only ask of you. Listen well. It concerns Lady Edelgard's uncle, the regent of the Empire, Lord Arundel. Although he is currently cooperating with Her Majesty, he maintains his own sizable military troops. It seems to me that his plans differ from our own. I assume you recall a certain group scheming from five years ago? Solon and Kranya. They both served Lord Arundel. <laughs> Professor, I understand how you must be feeling, considering what they did to your father. I know it must be foul to even consider cooperating with their kind. However, their power is essential for us at present, Edelgard also strongly opposed the idea at first. Our enemy is the Church of Saros itself. It cannot be toppled with the Empire's might alone. Those working under Lord Arundel are extremely hostile toward the Church. And the enemy of our enemy is... Well, I think you sufficiently understand by now. Until all of Fodlan is united, it is a necessary evil. As for how we deal with him afterward, time will tell. Regardless, Her Majesty and I wish to join our power with yours. You should know that in her heart, Her Majesty regards that group as enemies of herself and her family. They used her father, the former Emperor, as a puppet, and murdered her siblings with their vile experimentation. I believe Her Majesty may have told you some of this herself. That is why this was a very painful decision for her to make. I will do all I can to ensure her suffering is not in vain. And I hope I can count on you to do the same. As for all I have told you, please keep it in mind as we march forward. More importantly, I implore you to fight as best you can for Edelgard. From the bottom of my heart, I beg this of you. We'll be capturing the Great Bridge of Murden, a key strategic location of the Leicester Alliance. Claude will surely be sending reinforcements, so we must prevail before they arrive. 
Our opponent is Judith, the so-called hero of Daphnal. We can handle her, so long as we don't get careless. The boy said to run if I was in danger, but... I could never do that. I'll hold out until reinforcements arrive. For the Empire! More fighting. A great help. Your death is not in vain. Now. This wouldn't have happened in my youth. Let's clean up. I'm awake. What's my strategy? It's over. Yeah! Another victory. Going for the kill. Feels good to fight for a cause. Truly impressive. Ready for anything. No time for pity. I'll cut through. this for all of us. I'll cut a bloody path. I will prevail. Put me in there. their numbers. Not what I was hoping for. future. <laughs> Only thorns left on this rose. This could turn the tides. It was meant to be.
We can't place the future of Fodlin in Edelgard's hands. If you're allied with the Empire, I have no choice but to fight you. That's a fast. Gerald's enemies, and I will avenge him. <laughs> Judith, I'm sorry. I leave the rest to you. Leone, you had such a full life ahead of you. I wish I could take your place. There's no reason I should die in this place. It's time for me to return home. I am helping Claude build the future of Fodlin. I should have known this would happen. Ignatz, damn it! Such a good kid. He died too young. Will this ever end? This is the cost of war. You're better than I thought. Going for the kill. Oh! Stay down. best today all who are able retreat this is it Claude I'm sorry I couldn't defend the bridge all who are able retreat 
Don't let her escape. If we can take her out now, the Daphnil territory will be ours. That will allow us to march safely through the Alliance. Only thorns left on this rose. Maybe it's better this way. I will see this war through.
Feels good to fight for a cause. One to remember. I think I'd let you go. Here is something to believe in! Uh, it looks like I'm done for. But I'm sorry. Alliance soldiers! Judith has fallen! Further conflict is futile. If you surrender, your lives will be spared. Lay down your weapons immediately. You have all fought well. With this victory, we now have a foothold in the Alliance. The Imperial Army will cross the Aramid River and push the front lines forward. The fight will continue, but do not allow that to stop you from taking pride in our hard-won victory. Ah, this should put a stop to one of Edelgard's choice phrases. Well done, Professor. I believe it was, if only the Professor were here, we could forge ahead and change the tides of this war. Ferdinand, it is not necessary to tell the Professor such things. <laughs> We're not the only ones benefiting. The whole Imperial Army is stronger now. Yes, it seems the Empire finally has both of its legs to stand on. Don't you agree? <sighs> you make it sound as though I can't run the Empire on my own. Perhaps it's more apt to say that the Pegasus has recovered its horn. Judith of Daphne. Oh, what a magnificent warrior. I'm happy to have the Professor back just like old times, but I don't think I'll ever get used to this cruel exchange of lives. When there is something you must not be conceding, you must keep fighting. The fighting has been continuing for five years, but now I am again witnessing the Professor's power. I hate fighting, but with the Professor here, maybe it's slightly less terrible? Oh, but everyone is working so hard! Stop it, Bernie. You can't be the only one complaining. I'm glad to see everyone so inspired. It seems the reappearance of the Professor has done much to raise your morale. Do you not feel the same, Hubert? Come now, be honest with yourself. Now, we must take advantage of the situation and blaze ahead. Our path is still a long way. Part 2. Crimson Flower. Guardian Moon. The Master Tactician. Having crushed the Alliance's army and captured the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army prepares to attack Deirdre, the Alliance's base of operations.
Professor, what is your opinion of Claude? I can't help but wonder what sort of impression he made on you. That is inarguable, and his schemes are still going strong. With them, he's managed to keep the Leicester Alliance from the Empire's grasp. Since the beginning, territories within the Alliance have been split between those who support the Empire and those who oppose it. Claude has been acting as an intermediary between the two, essentially keeping the Alliance pacified. As both sides are of equal strength, He's created a situation in which they've all agreed to avoid fighting each other and causing undue bloodshed. By carrying on as though the Alliance is united, he's minimized the Empire's influence there. <laughs> it's quite impressive how well his bold scheme has worked out. However, he is walking on thin ice. One wrong move and the Alliance will shatter. Speaking of Claude... Your Majesty, we should not delay in our invasion of the Alliance. It would seem that Claude has some fresh scheme up his sleeve, to no one's surprise. Is that so? Yes. The people of Deirdre have suddenly found it difficult to leave or enter the city. We can safely assume he is preparing for battle. But I am certain his plans extend beyond that as well. Do you not think we should take Deirdre at once? Deirdre, the aquatic capital. A city floating on the ocean certainly poses a challenge. Since it's deep within Regan territory, we haven't had the opportunity to attack it directly. However, now that we have control of the Great Bridge of Murden, our situation has changed drastically. They can no longer expand their supply line into the Empire, and so we can finally attack Regan territory. House Regan is not only Claude's house, but also the flagship of those who oppose the Empire within the Alliance. If House Regan falls, the other Alliance lords will be tripping over themselves to join us. That is why we cannot fail to take Deirdre. Confidence is one thing, Professor. But see to it that you do not underestimate Claude. The leader of the Alliance has had many things said about him. They say he is unbeatable in a battle of intellect. I hear they call him the Master Tactician. My princess is lovely. My princess is fair. She sings like cicadas in midsummer's air. Cicadas? Those noisy little bugs that swarm about, endlessly mingling with one another? Oh, uh, good point. I will revise. My princess is lovely. My princess is fair. She sings like a swallow in midsummer's air. Migrating birds. Never sticking around for long. Always off to find love somewhere else. Uh, no, what, what I meant was... Uh... <sighs> oh, Ferdinand, you're just not yourself today. You don't seem focused. Your poetry lacks poetry. Perhaps a break is in order. I would not dream of stopping now. This is my golden opportunity. Pardon me? We are finally alone. Just the two of us. Why, yes, we are, aren't we? You see, Manuela, I have long admired you. Is that a fact? I saw you perform countless times while you were with the opera company. Oh, I see. So what did you think? The figure you cut, that heartbreaking voice. I was mesmerized. That is why I am tongue-tied. I am nervous about speaking to you alone, after idolizing you for so long. There's no need to be nervous, Ferdinand. That songstress you recall is long gone. 
I get nervous too, you know. But I want you to feel relaxed around me. Understood? Yes, uh, <clears throat> uh, yes, I promise to try. You're really full of surprises, you know that? I assumed you'd be more interested in combat than the arts. Come and chat sometime? I'd love to hear more about how my performances mesmerized you. I have learned much of the language of Fodlin, but speaking the Fodlin language still gives me difficulty. I can understand, read, and write with nearly perfection now, but understanding and speaking are fruits of a different color. I have gratitude for you, Professor. I hope that I will have fluency one day. Again soon. Need something? This one? You're all set. This one? You're all set. This one? You're all set. One? You're all set. This 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 one? You're all set. See you again soon. Good. Sing from your diaphragm. Lo! Get it? Lo! I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud?
Hey! Hmm. Plot, eh? He always was sharp among his peers. Never let himself get caught up in conventions. <laughs> he wasn't typical in Fodlan. Then there's Rhea and King Dimitri. I'd stay on their good sides for different reasons. Yeah, well, if that's the only way forward, it can't be helped. So, listen. Hi. Five years ago, during the attack on this place, you allowed me to join your side. Since then, I've risen through the ranks. And now I'm a general leading my own army. In this invasion of the Alliance, I've been entrusted with maintaining the supply lines and keeping the Goneril territories under control. That's why I won't be accompanying you to Deirdre. Please look after Lady Edelgard. Hey, I could use a hand. Claude's earned himself a rather colorful nickname. He does whatever it takes to win. I like that. It will be especially satisfying to defeat him. I can't wait to see what his next move is. To tell you the truth, I used to be a Knight of Seros, but at some point I just couldn't follow the Archbishop anymore. I ran away in secret and decided to join the Imperial Army. Ever since that day you disappeared, the Archbishop has been completely different. She started laughing as if she was possessed and spouting complete gibberish. looks like. I'm not sure if I ever knew. Claude. Claude. Which one was he again? Oh, right. Yeah, of course I remember him. Oh well, he's just another enemy now, isn't he? What? Am I not supposed to say that? Death Knight who stabbed me five years ago? Of course you do. How could you forget? Well, it turns out he's a general in the Imperial Army. He leads the Western Front against the Kingdom. Once I knew he was at Garrig Mach, I stormed right up to him, told him who I was and what he did. And he offered me an apology. I'm talking about a sincere, heartfelt, solemn apology. What a letdown. What's going on with that guy anyway? Who is he under that mask? This experience is critical. the Kingdom and the Knights of Seros haven't made any significant moves. I don't suppose they're going to stand by and watch while we attack Deirdre, though. That's why I've doubled our guard and instructed them to be extra vigilant. I will keep Garrigmach safe, 
It is my duty and responsibility. Ugh. Big Brother always gets so fired up. Better keep an eye on him. Oh, sorry. I was just talking to myself. I hear you're heading out to Deirdre. Good luck with the battle. win battles, and I'm always relieved when our friends make it back safe. On the other hand, it's hard to watch the enemy die. Even worse when it's someone you know. <sighs> Perhaps it would have been better if I'd just stayed with the opera. You're right, Professor. I'll never regret the choices I've made. Now you just have to lead us to victory, so everyone else can let go of their regrets too. Now you just have to... Why, thank you so much! Thank you for inviting me, Professor. Why, thank you so much! What a happy little moment. a lovely cup of tea. Thank you, Professor. Please call me again. <laughs> Didn't they used to call Claude the Master Tactician? I want a nickname, too. Maybe I'll get one if I can defeat him at Deirdre. I'll come up with a plan that'll beat his and earn a nickname for sure. Your concern is unnecessary. You're so good at teaching that you make me jealous. Professor? 
Everything went pretty well today. I got it? Good! Everything went pretty well today. I s Nothing worth celebrating. Praise isn't necessary, really. Nothing worth celebrating. Oh, I was right. Can I use this off the battlefield? How embarrassing. I'm not used to such praise. Oh, I was right? Tell me, am I achieving anything yet? You're a good professor. Let's... May I be asking a question? Appreciating your answer. Professor? Come, we have work to do. Indeed, I will do my part. It is done. This should prove useful. It's starting to feel like a part of me. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my research. Technique never betrays. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? The utter discord. I cannot stand it. I do wish everyone would listen to one another.
I still have much to learn. Another skill refined. I'm a To grow. I'm improving, thanks to you. Your guidance was greatly useful. today. What? Was I wrong somehow? I suppose I must try harder next time. But tell me, am I achieving anything yet? It was nothing. Of course I got it. I need to... nothing. Mission complete. Thank you. Oh, wow, thanks. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's my strategy? Another victory. More fighting. Will this ever end? I will prevail. I'll cut a bloody path. Hardly worth the effort. For the Empire! Ready for anything. I do this for all of us. Yeah! I'll be home again soon. I'll cut through. Too slow! You haven't earned my pity. I'm awake. Let's clean up. Just not there yet. of time to kill is to grow stronger yeah. 
I'm impressed. A boon for our future. Remain cautious. To survive, I survive! My heart burns with pride. Impressive as always. What's my strategy? I must lead them well. More fighting. Ready for anything. I'll cut through. I'm awake. I'll do what it takes. I will prepare. For the Empire. The only possible outcome. I could learn from that. Let's clean up. I do this for all of us. I'll cut a bloody path.
hardly worth the effort. Fight, then rest. You are in my way! Not for myself, for everyone. Your timing is spot on. Thinning their numbers. One to remember. An encouraging display. This could turn the tides. I'll use this power for the greater good. Your death is not in vain. Strength and beauty. What a pair. I must lead them well. Another victory. Well done. going to plan. I'll strike you down! Only thorns left on this rose. Keep it up. That wasn't difficult. Your praise is appreciated. 
Let's do this again. Let's do the... That wasn't difficult. Just as I always expected, no matter how old one gets, it's always nice to hear, job well done. Just, just as I always expected. It is done. I always was a quick study. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm glad I asked you. <laughs> Professor Monuela, may I come in? This room? What... what happened here? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Is something the matter? No, I just... Uh, can I help you tidy up? Uh, actually, I have to know. How did you make such a mess in the first place? Please don't ask for the details. Suffice to say, my room always looks like this after I've been dumped. Oh, right. Well, let's see what we can do about it. Your help was unexpected, but appreciated, Edelgard. Now, what can I do for you? I heard that you haven't been acting like yourself, so I came to see if you're doing all right. But the moment I saw you, I could tell you were troubled, so it seemed pointless to ask. I suppose it was rather obvious, wasn't it? Perhaps I should stop being quite so dramatic. All the same, dear, I'd like to repay you for helping me out. Name your prize. I don't need a reward. But, if you wouldn't mind answering my question, I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course! What is it? I once asked you why you chose to retire. You said that the Goddess supports you emotionally, but it's up to you to take care of the rest. I have to admit that I don't quite understand what you meant by that. Can you please explain? Did I say that? <laughs> I suppose so. From joining the Middle Funk Opera Company to becoming a diva of the grand stage. I went through so much to achieve what I did. <sighs> Looking back, I don't know how I made it. What happened during that time? A lot. My divinely gifted voice only got me to the edge of the stage. From there, I had to work hard to defeat my rivals. I did all of this by myself, through sheer force of will. All so I could stand center stage. Ah, oh, I see I was wrong about something. I thought that being a devout believer implied a certain weakness of spirit. 
an inability to survive on your own. But you've proven me wrong, Professor Manuela. Professor Hanneman, do you have a moment to talk? Of course, of course, Miss Dorothea. Whatever is on your mind. I heard you were once a member of the nobility, and you surrendered your title to come here. Indeed, I was a noble once. Why are you so curious about that? I knew there was something noble about your speech and your perfect manners. You're always impeccably dressed, too, and you have a certain pride about you. What interests me is that you threw it all away. Why? I threw nothing away, child. In fact, by stepping away from its trappings, in my heart I feel closer than ever to the true meaning of nobility. How so? Consider this. At its inception, the concept of nobility assumed that the greatest among the populace would rise to power. In my mind, I believe that means those who value knowledge, those who strive for more and wish to protect and guide their fellow man. However, in practice, nobility often serves to keep those deemed commoners down, segregated from those who, by chance, were born to a noble family. That is one of the reasons I decided to leave that nonsense behind and dedicate myself to the study of crests. Though I have abandoned my position, in my mind it was to pursue what I consider to be a truly noble pursuit, that of knowledge. I see. Well, you're definitely a noble in that sense of the word. To pursue such admirable ideas without regard for your social position, how wonderful. Pardon? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I was just very moved by your words. Ah, well, I'm quite pleased to hear you say so. to this. Oh. Manuela? Oh my goodness, you look terrible. Don't get up. I'll get you some water. I should fluff up those pillows for you. It will make you more comfortable. Oh. I'm completely hopeless. I was so proud of being the reason you came to Garrig Mock. Dorothea wanted to follow in my footsteps. How great is that? I thought I'd use that as an inspiration to straighten myself out. Be less of a, you know, less of a disgrace. But here I am, right in front of you, dealing with the worst hangover I've had in weeks. You thought you'd hide this from me? <laughs> Wait, you mean you knew? Even when you were still with the opera company, you had quite the reputation. There was a joke that you could outdrink a fish and the sailor who caught it. Dorothea, my brain's pounding as it is. Please, stop. It's all true, but I can't handle hearing it from you, the girl I thought I had inspired to greatness. I can't believe I tried so hard to be a good example for you when you knew all along. I should leap into the ocean and drown. Don't say that. You've not lost a bit of respect from me. Not one bit. Everyone has their faults, and some have more than others, but... You were the finest songstress the opera had ever seen. And you've taught me well. But 
What I mean to say is, you're my inspiration. I really do admire you. Thank you, Dorothea. That means a lot. Thank <laughs> you.